Hi, my name is Chastity Smith, and I will be using Wanna Be Starting Something by Michael Jackson as my song share project. Wanna Be Starting Something is a song by American songwriter and recording artist Michael Jackson. It was released on May 8, 1983 by Epic Records as the fourth single from Michael Jackson's sixth studio album, Thriller, in 1982. The song was written, composed, and co-produced by Michael Jackson and was executively produced by Quincy Jones. Wanna Be Starting Something was seen as a cross-cultural disco song and it is it shows similarities to one of Michael Jackson's uh, previous studio albums, the Off the Wall album, which was published in 1979. The song's rhythmic arrangement was uh, arranged by Michael Jackson himself. I will never forget hearing a personal account of Michael working in the studio on this piece. Um, it was actually given as a testimonial uh, by Quincy Jones. Now, Quincy said that Michael came into the studio that day and would perform his desired rhythm vocally and the producer, which was Quincy, and the per percussionist, Paulino da Costa, would attempt to bring them to life. There is a complex interweaving of these drum machine patterns and even vocal patterns on the track. The horn arrangement by Jerry Hay has been described as brassy and precise. Slant Magazine reviewed the song and commented that the song was, as they said, complicated tapestry of colliding hooks and pop references. For example, the song's lyrics, too high to get over and too low to get under, has strong similarities to the Funkadelic's opening for One Nation Under a Groove. Here is a sample of the beginning of the rhythmic se section and the horn section of want to be starting something. The song's lyrics are the second most interesting component of this piece. The main concept is about the mentality and the deeds of mischievous people. It speaks of spreading rumors and starting arguments and gossip. The song's lyrics pertain to the media and press, which he states in the lyrics. Now, the first verse says, I took my baby to the doctor with a fever, but nothing he found. By the time this hit the streets, they said she had a breakdown. Someone's always trying to keep my baby crying, uh, curse, cursing, stealing, lying, said you just want to be starting something. And then after that, it moves into the bridge portion of the song, which um, straddles the line of bitterness and maybe even paranoia when it says you're a vegetable, uh, you're a buffet, you're a vegetable. They eat off you, you're a vegetable. In Wanna Be Starting Something, Jackson tends to use his falsetto or his head voice in most um, of his recordings, and uh, this song is no exception to that. The song is in the key of E major, and it is moderately bright and delivers a somewhat predictable and continuous chord progression throughout the song. The coda of the piece is the most controversial component of this selection, in my opinion. Now, the story behind these syllables, Mama Say, Mama Sa, Mama Kusa, is a fascinating one. It originated in Cameroon uh, from the language Douala. Douala is spoken in Douala, which is Cameroon's largest city. Since the 1960s, uh, pop music in Cameroon has been dominated by a rhythmic style of dance from Douala known as Makusa. The Dwala word makusa is loosely translated as I dance. Even in the Oxford English Dictionary, there's further an explanation um, which gives two definitions. One is that uh, 
casa, a makusa is a derivative of casa, which is to peel or remove the skin of a fruit or vegetable. And then the second one is that it refers to the twisting and shaking movements of the dancer. Makusa hit big time in 1973 when uh, Manu Dibango's soul makusa became an international hit. Now Dibango uh, describes coming up with the song in his autobiography, Three Kilos of Coffee. And this is an excerpt taken directly from that autobiography. He says, On one side of the 45, I recorded the hymn. On the other, I recorded Soul Makusa, written using a traditional Makusa rhythm with a little soul thrown in it. In my Douala neighborhood at my parents' house, I rehearsed this second piece. The house had no air conditioning and the windows were wide open, so all the kids flocked around. Hearing me rehearse, they fell over laughing. Unbelievable. How on earth had I concocted that mishmash? Poor Makusa really took a blow. Uh, my father was astonished. Can't you pronounce Makusa like everyone else? You stutter. Mamako, Mamasa. Uh, you think they're going to accept that? The cup organizing committee reacted the same way. The march on one side they found impeccable, but on the other side they said, really, Manu has gone nuts. What possesses him to stutter like that? But so Makusa found its way to New York, where it turned into an underground hit. After heavy rotation on New York's popular black radio stations, WL, uh, WBLS, the uh, somewhat unheard of Cameroonian single became a hot commodity. Now, since the original single was so hard to find, numerous cover versions began to fill that void. And the acts that covered the bongo song all imitated the stuttering syllables that playfully um, mangled and interchanged the syllables of the word makusa. The song is credited with helping to kickstart New York's disco scene, and both the original and all the many cover versions that were available traveled far and wide. It is believed that it clearly had, a, had an effect on Michael Jackson as he began writing the songs for Thriller. Since the breakdown at the end of Wanna Be Startin' Something incorporates a variation of Dibango's refrain, deleting a syllable and alternating two words. Now, Dibango says, Mamaku, Mamasa, Maku, Makusa. Jackson says, Mama say, Mama Ma, uh, excuse me, Mama say, Mama Sa, Mama Kusa. And a sample of that can be heard. Another songwriting technique that he uses, even at the end of that, uh, that those lines of Mama Say Mama Sa Mama Kusa, is to end tailoring off the same way that he began. He, in the beginning, um, he entered with the rhythmic section, added the uh, horns, and then began the vocals. Well, um, at the end, he took out everything except for the vocals, then he added the horn section the precise horn section that was wonderful and then he um, put the rhythmic section back in um, that is the theme throughout the piece now Jackson in the beginning claimed that his version uh, was Swahili but he eventually acknowledged his debt to Dibango and worked out a compensation arrangement out of uh, an out-of-court settlement in 2007 when R&B singer Rihanna released the saying or released the song Please Don't Stop the Music which sampled the line from Wanna Be Starting Something Rihanna got Jackson's permission but not Debongo's and so in response Debongo sued both Rihanna and Jackson um, and seeked uh, 500,000 euros in damages Overall I find this song was very well written for the aforementioned reasons, um, it is a classic that can be heard in dance halls um, even today. It is also a track that I can play for adults and turn around and play it for my middle school classroom and have the same response. Happily dancing people with the burning urge to sing along.